I just, I clipped a button that I didn't mean to clip and it stopped the stream. What a fucking idiot I am. Jesus Christ. Right. How to get rid of all your viewers in one easy step. Right, the sounds. There's there's nothing here. Aim? I guess it's just for first person. The graphics won't be fucking it, will they? No, surely not. I don't know. I don't know. Like, this sound. It's <laughs> just gonna hear that on repeat now. That makes no sense. It makes no sense. Why is it so broken? I think Nittle's gone, hasn't he? Nittle no more. Kirsty still here? I have no idea what's going on. Everything's a mess. Oh well. Proceed. <laughs> Will this cover Excellent. The cost of a boat? Sorry, I fucked up the stream briefly. Way. My foot, it warm now for sure. Oh, this will get you them planks from the wood pile around here. And one of your lanterns. Sold. What do you expect to do with this, Holmes? Build a raft? Watson, let's pay a visit to this Anson. What? What just happened? What the fuck am I expected to do with this? And where are these planks? I seem to recall seeing planks the other day. Have I gone too far? This guy's been asleep here for fucking hours. How is that a thing? How is it growing like that? Well, it snapped, obviously, but I mean, the roots where they were. It's ridiculous. I'm going to have one of these boats, these, these knackered, sunk boats. Climb? Climb up on his roof? No? Fucking hell, I've got. You, you knobhead! We stuck. Can we go past this? No? Where are these. No bad. I believe we can find some manner of payment that you will find satisfactory. We should find a way to pay this. Oh, for God's sake. So the champagne didn't do it. Oh, but we have got a lantern. Do you want to give him this ruby? Yeah. I believe we can find some man. We should no. find a way to. Oh, my days.
So we are just going back to his house. And apparently the planks are in our invention. They are. <sighs> Moron. Okay. Would you be so kind as to explain to me why we are coming back with these wood planks? We are searching for a signet ring, Watson. And how do these planks help us find it? We must recover the hand that wears it, so we must find a way to lure its finder. But whom are you talking about, Holmes? Nah. I don't know. I can't remember names. I'm 100% not even going to try with this one. Obviously. Please, C button. You must stop this. The facts speak for themselves, I Watson. The key that unlocks Armstrong's Rip it out and squirt some WD-40 in there, because it carries on fucking hitting twice, or not at all. Takes his there was uh, the very pick. same severed by one of his kidnappers when the poor man clung to the bush we saw on the way to the bayou. It so happens that raccoons are attracted by carrion and also are quite taken by shiny objects. No doubt one has made off with our missing hand and its ring. I noticed their tracks nearby and and no doubt they have a nest in this area. Find the raccoons and we find our hand. As you put it, it seems quite obvious, Holmes. It's simplicity itself. But now we need to place some bait As so the little it, fellow it will come out obvious. and take us back to his den. Yeah, just checking that the sound was clear for you guys there. Uh, the sound is unbearable for me. Uh, but as I was doing that, obviously I wasn't listening to what we just fucking spoke on so what yeah right bait I'm going to set this outside to attract the little devil. Right, we saw him round here somewhere, didn't we? Where, where did we see the goddamn raccoon? Raccoon. Raccoon. Raccoon! Where are you? <sighs> Foiled by this tiny, tiny stem. <sighs> Man them, please. What? These were the steps. No, that's blood. Big tree. Racket. What the fuck? Go to the steps of the back porch. Look at the raccoon footsteps just across the big tree. That's a pretty big tree. Is it here? Are they raccoon footprints? These tiny dots? No? Get out of the fucking way, you idiot. Idiot, he says. Incredible language. <sighs> That's a tree. That's a tree. These are trees. That's the big tree, though. He did go up in... Did he go up in the tree? Why is he making this shit up? Oh, here we go. Right, now punch him! Watson, there is the nest. It's on the roof above the balcony. I am missing something. Yeah, ladder, I reckon. Is it a ladder? Right. You know what? I 
Fuck off, Watson. Oh, the mouse is being dodgy again. It says to pick up nails if you haven't already from the stable. And it's funny that, because when I was in here and I first picked up the hammer, I was like, there are nails there, I should pick them up. This should prove useful. And it wouldn't let me. Shut up, horse. Fucking hell, I mean, it's just not going the long way around. Mind you, it's on a corner, so is this the long way around? Is it really? Loving all this popping I'm seeing as I'm running around the place. It's fantastic. It's a sign of a well-made game. Right. Here. Aha. I am missing something. Yes, the ladder that I spoke of. Smashed it. Up the ladder, and oh look, it's a hand. Is it though? Yes. Fucking ridiculous. Excuse me, madam. I'm merely passing by with no wish to disturb you. Although I'm sure you found Mr. Arnson to be a man of good taste. Is that a joke? Did he make a joke there? A man of good taste? That's fucked up, man. Okay, so we got ourselves a fresh key. No, we haven't. That's just happened to be in our adventure. We got a fresh. I'll do it. We got ourselves a fresh ring. Now I'm remembering that gun from the safe now. Money. Here's what we need to buy a boat. What a splendid weapon. Indeed, it'll be of great advantage in the swamp. Can't wait to start shooting gators, so I'm sure he's gonna come up. Got it, we good? Okay. Watson, we must move quickly. The enemy is close at hand, and there's another place we've yet to examine. Is there, though? Tell me, phone. What am I missing? Okay, I think we're about to get fucked. Again, that's why we're not allowed to fast travel, because things are due to occur. It's not letting me take the fucking ladder, though. Because we've not done this bit yet. You Here should have listened to me, Mr. Holmes, and gone back on your boat. It's the sheriff. Quickly, load the rifle, Holmes. No, Watson. Forget the gun and see to the ladder. And quickly... Move, then, you fucking idiots. Oh, why? Come Let's on. Let's go, Watson. To the port. <laughs> Take me time. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Should have just shot the cunts. Here is a big ass wad of money. Stop being a dick. Have we enough to buy a boat, sir? For sure. Excellent. Could you tell us the best way to reach the swamp area nearest to the rich parish? That's simple enough for any fool. How much of this section of the game is left? And keep close to the shore. There is one last... Oh, not sir, much. We're going to get away with it. The boat from which we disembarked is scheduled to leave tomorrow for Europe. Could you take a message to the crew for us? We may need for them to hold their departure until 8 o'clock in the morning. Will do. And one last thing. How may we identify old Sam's racks from any others? 
Old Sam's racks be marked with right. blue and white tops. One. Two. Three, now, Watson, let's explore this swamp. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Fucking hell, that's quite a lot. Right, get me back to where I was. And what have we achieved today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, okay, I think all we have to do is nail the swamp section and that's 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 the stream that is, I think. I can just work out where the hell I was a minute ago. Especially considering this sound is for me, only me apparently, getting fucking unbearable. Okay. <gasps> wow. Okay. So, it says be sure to review Arnson's note, which I told you would be fucking instructions for the swamp. But I'm not going to do that because it's written here. Uh, and it says, search among branches near old Sam's racks. What's an old Sam's rack? Is it? Here is the hidden passage near old Sam's racks. We are on the right course, Watson. Okay, good, we did it. <laughs> Pass in front of Demon Rock. What is a Demon Rock? Is it over here? Because. No, I guess not. See shit, fam. Well, we've fucking found something, haven't we? That that does not look good. I'm not allowed around there, but that is that is a hundred percent a dude missing his head and all his guts fucked up. Is this Demon Rock? It's a rock. Is this Demon Rock? No, that's a net. Nothing of value there, Watson. Oh, this is fucking bullshit, dude. Do you not just give me actual directions? Oh, there's an actual picture here for Devil's Rock. Devil Rock, Demon Rock. Fucking, you can't call it both. It's a stone with blood on it. And there's a jellyfish tree, which is just, you know, a willow, I think. Which is that. So, this way? I just not notice. What the fuck's that? Hey, the rock. The big old bleedy tree. Oh, it's the wrong fucking way, we know that much. What's with the fucking drums? Bit tribal in it. It's fucking New Orleans, mate. I've completely lost my fucking sense of perspective now. I've got no idea where I even started. And there's Bleedy Man again. Do we start from over here? I 
I genuinely don't know. Here is the hidden passage near old Sam's racks. Yeah. We are on the right course, Watson. Right, so this is where we start. So the right is wrong. So it must be over here. Is anyone still here? Does anyone even care? Well, this is just knackered tree again. Nothing of value there, Watson. Here is the hidden passage near old Sam's racks. We are on the right course, Watson. Wait, hang on. No, because that's... that's bleedy stone. Blood. Here now, this is hardly reassuring. Oh my god, there's a dude hanging from fucking... Tr there's many dudes. But what is this horror, Holmes? Where have you taken us? Near the goal, Watson. Near the goal. Fucking really. I can think of nothing useful. What are we to do, Holmes? Your guess is good as mine. Watson was supposed to have noticed crocodiles by now. Oh, I've opened a thing. Nothing of value there, Watson. Where the hell are we supposed to go then? This way? Good oh, there they are. The crop, crop, the Look crops. in the water. What monsters! No, Watson. They are crocodiles. A crocodile is not very accommodating. I can think of nothing useful. What are we to do, Holmes? We must find some enticing food to lure them away from here, Watson. Let us think. Holmes, I fail to see how they feed these creatures and do not rely on me to dive in. So I, I know what to do. I'll blast this fool. Bravo, Watson. Here is what will draw these reptiles in that direction and free the passage. <sighs> Much better. But let's hurry and get ourselves across before. Is it better because they're still course. there? We'll just sail over the top of my guess. Attention, Watson. We arrive. Stand ready. Here now. This is hardly reassuring. Good, we found the voodoo Watson, lady. See what you can do for this poor man. His servant took a harsh and terrible revenge by letting him go to these wild men. As for the others, I'm afraid we are too late. Oh, Jesus. My arms are so. My titties are so. You're right there, lad. I haven't examined everything yet. Alright. Well, there's a cutscene. Pitiable and blind fools! Are you not aware of the Great One's arrival? Even now, he's I mean, I've heard about it. ...across his kingdom, and the Enlightened will give up their flesh to him. All will be present for his awakening. Oh, God, me fucking sides. Do not fight the calling. <laughs> Soon he will end his dreaming, and your world will be swallowed whole. Bow down! And give thanks. You are the food of his new world. <laughs> I want to shoot him. He shot him. It's I've got excellent calls. Okay. You do an investigating of the uh, sinister figure was also no, a cannibal. Okay. Bored by seafood, was he? Hold up a minute. Let me just let me just check the old replay there. What the fuck did that just say? It did say cannibal. Thank Christ. For a minute, I swear I didn't. I wasn't paying attention properly. Caught it at the last minute. I thought it, they'd actually been cannonball, and I thought he definitely wasn't one of them. 
into the night sky. Right. Investigations. Alright, Cthulhu, how are you doing? I cannot do this. I bet you can if you put your fucking magic dolly in it. What a strange book. I've never seen these idioms before. How perfect. It'll provide welcome diversion during How did that mechanic voyage. work? So we put the statue in the slot and book appears from where exactly? It's fucking mad this, isn't it? Oh, God. A good number of people have been here, not long ago, and indeed, not freely. They're all fucking dead now, pal. Look at this dude. Is he wobbling? Oh, God, he is. Grim. Have I investigated everything now? Is that the investigation concluded? It is. Holmes, help me to carry him to the boat. I really can't say if he will survive the voyage back. Hey, he'll be fine. He's only had his hand off. Remember the Black Knight from uh, Quest for the Holy Grail? What a flesh wound. By the devil, that'd be honest. Indeed. Do you know someone who can be accommodating and tend to him? You take yourselves round and seize that little Lucy what lives on the boat. I know where Lucy is. Please, help my friends to lift this poor man to the wharf, and I will go find Miss Lucy. What can we do for you, my pretty one? Dear madam, could you tell Lucy that we have found Mr. Anson and tell her to hurry? This may be her last chance to see him while he still breathes. Grim. Lucy! Lucy! Ah, here you are. This gentleman found your fella. My God, can it be true? Sure enough, as he say. Cannonball would have been more fun, arguably, I think. What have they A sudden done run there. You? Oh, my <laughs> he has lost his hand and is in deep shock, but with rest and tender care, he has a good chance to survive these injuries. Oh, oh, madam, please. No word of medicine or please. any treatment, though. <laughs> A bit of tender care. If I could have be a moment. We found this sum of money, which is a large amount, and belongs to Mr. Arnson. I think it is fair to entrust it to your care. Well, this seems all right, then. <laughs> I will take good care of you. You'll see, my love. <laughs> About Arnson's place... Isn't she meant to be a hooker, though? ...disorder left there. If you could be a good man and set things right... You can count an old champagne for every little thing. Now that's a fact. I can see our friend is in good hands. We better hurry, Watson. I see our ship is making ready to leave. And we took the statue back, apparently. Or got a new one. I thought our one was broken earlier, but that one seems pretty alright. What's he doing? Holmes, have you been Watson, on the fucking ease again? I've told you several times now. I am not to be disturbed. But Holmes, you have been locked inside your cabin for all of four days now. Outside, the sun is simply radiant, and the wind from the sea. If you approach me, Watson, I will throw you out. Now leave me. Blast it all, Holmes. I am bored. I can't take these sailors' conversations for another minute. We have an understanding, Watson. Each to his purpose. I will look to the translation of the book. You are to study the figures written out by our young friend Davy. Now, get on with your task and leave me to mine. Fucking but ridiculous. But you know that these enigmas are not my strong point. Wouldn't you have some other task? 
which is better suited to my skills, Holmes. Hmm, of course. You're a man of letters, after all. So, return to the bridge, take your trusted notebook, and apply your mind to editing this small writing. Agreed. On what subject? It is my monograph on the calculated trajectories of gull excretia. Good day, Watson. Right. I said we were going to stop I see here. We have received a message, undoubtedly but from my brother Mycroft. London isn't that big a section, really. So let's go a little bit further. Sherlock, you should receive this letter upon your return from the Americas. Your instructions were followed to the letter in Switzerland, and I believe you will find the result satisfying. Several days ago, the Swiss authorities inspected the Black Eye Vice Institute and found evidence of serious breaches of established medical ethics. In total, according to your findings, Dr. Gyration, remember him, was also found and detained. Unfortunately, before uh, anything could be learned, he took desperate measures. He had hidden a small but highly lethal dose of potassium cyanide on his person. Before he could be stopped, he swallowed this poison and died immediately. His employees denied any knowledge of the doctor's murderous activities and the evidence supports the conclusion that they were merely employees carrying out his orders. No trace was found of the Hindi. However, your friend Superintendent Bilger informed me that during their search of an underground level of the Institute, his men discovered a blood spattered well. In this room, they also reported hearing a strange maniacal laughter that appeared to come from the bottom of that same well. The superintendent thinks, as I do, that the sound was shouting uh, of the patients gathered in the hospital square he theorizes that due to the odd acoustics present this sound was distorted and appeared to be originating from that foul well i must say i agree completely with his reasoning and mention the odd report merely to apprise you of all the facts you should also know that since its discovery that dreadful room has been condemned and permanently sealed although most of dr gyration's documents was destroyed before the arrival of the swiss police a number of accounting references survived these were adequate to trace a series of suspicious transactions. Even the famed confidentiality of the Swiss banks has their limits. What I learnt, though, seemingly fantastic, is quite probable. It's a fucking... How much is this? <sighs> it seems that Dr. Gyration had laid his hands on a, a goodly potion. Portion, for fuck's sake. If not the entirety, of Lord Rochester's lost treasure. You may recall the story. Lord Ro uh, Rochester, the infamous London billionaire, married an American woman. They had but one child, a lad named Archibald. Fucking Archie. After the boy completed his education and achieved his majority, he travelled east to take charge of his father's interests. In addition to his holdings in England, Lord Rochester also held a number of jewel mines in India. At the end of two years, Archibald had accumulated a fortune in gemstones, all of the highest quality. The best of these were placed in a chest, which he took with him onto a ship bound for England. Then his fortunes turned. Uh-oh. Neither he nor the gems ever saw land, as a dreadful storm sank the ship near the Indian coast. Only a few of the ship's crew survived. The bodies of the rest were pulled from the sea, with one notable exception. Not a trace was found of either Archibald or the famed chest. And the tragedy took a far greater toll. Lord Rochester was devastated by the news and died soon after. Grief-stricken, Lady Rochester returned to her family home in Boston. She herself died not long ago. What was once a noble family is now gone. What you may not know is that Archibald Rochester had the stones carefully documented and inventoried before he boarded the ship. I was fortunate to see these very documents recently. Comparing the particulars, I can say with the utmost confidence that some of these same stones, presumably at the bottom of the Indian uh, Ocean Abyss, have astonishingly surfaced in the middle of the Swiss Alps. I was unsuccessful in uncovering exactly what facts led Amos Colby, the Northwood Agency operative to that area, but you may know more about this subject than I am privy to. Sincerely yours, Mycroft. <sighs> that was a lot of reading. Strange. Here, read this, Watson. Indeed. But the possession of such a treasure is an end in itself. Why the devil go through with such an elaborate masquerade? Money is often the motive of the basest acts, but not in this case. These are deep waters indeed, Watson. These people follow some other dark purpose, so desperate that it justifies any sacrifice and great risk. You frighten me, Holmes. I'm frightened. I sometimes I frighten myself. Enough of idle speculations, Watson. I asked you to study the figures drawn by young Davy. No doubt they are some cipher. What do you make of them? Right, well, I've had a little bit of a read about this, and I'm going to uh, have a, a butcher's at the... Not with that button. Let's save, though. While we're here. 
Um, what what button let me see thing? This stuff. Okay. Now it said something about slashes and number repeats. Let me just get my bearings again. Not you. So, ignore this one. So, right, so it's going from one to five, I think, until a number is repeated. Where's my pen? There it is. Right, we're going to work this out, gang. I say gang. Who's here? Is it just me and Kirsty? Probably. Two, one, four, six, seven, nine, eight, three, nine. Okay. We've got a one, a two, three, a four. There's no five. So let's get a five in there. Okay, so we go from three. Three, four, two, one, seven, five, eight, eight. One, two, three, four. Wait a sec. Is that a one? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Five. So is it up to the number? So I think it must be six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's eight. I think no. Where, where's the next double? Five, obviously. So yeah, it's eight. Six six one nine booyaka fucking booyaka six one nine three eight five seven nine okay so what's missing there one two is missing what's those four two 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 and four are both missing am I getting this right? Oh no, I'm getting this wrong. Eight's not the answer. You know what, let's just cheat. I can't be bothered. Uh, we started well and then it went to pot. So the answer is... Are you not going to let me... Oh wow, the mouse doesn't want to play now. Let me type. It doesn't know those numbers, I think. Yeah, it knows these ones. Five, six, four, three, six to six, one, three, four. Nailed it. They're clever. Indeed, they are open to but one possible meaning, even if it eludes me at present. As for my own enigma, I have failed to penetrate the secrets of this book. The language is archaic, and my own modest knowledge of ciphers is sorely tested. I have succeeded in drawing forth only insanities and other absurdities. According to this book, if my translation is exact, if one makes this mark with human blood, and then with conviction recites this illuminating verse, Gnarch. What is this word? The victim what is, is he saying? mesmerized or demon to leave his mind. I tell you, Watson, this reads like complete gibberish. I do not know what to make of it. How did you say it? Gnurth could do a... What? Oh, these drawings. What a horror. I tell you, Holmes, this book gives me great unease. That's gives me the heap of jibbers. everything to do with this affair. I just recalled, Watson. Didn't Barnes, the bookseller, tell us he had studied ancient history? Perhaps he might help us with the translation of this book. We must seek out better minds, for we are at a standstill. I have not the slightest idea where they could have taken these people and what consequences await them. Let's take our leave and see if Barnes might be of assistance. Right. Jesus. To the... Not to the map, apparently. How about now to the map? Not there. There. Saving time. You. Give me information. Mr. 
Dr. Holmes, Dr. Watson, a real pleasure to see you. I say, where have you been? You've stayed away for some months now. Months? Indeed, we took a very long journey and barely made it back. However, That's we have more months. important matters to discuss. Didn't you say you have some knowledge of ancient people? Their language, writings and customs? Indeed I did, Mr. Holmes. Why do you ask? Because this fuckery. Oh, mouse, please. You are just the man we need. I ran across this esoteric text during our travels and wondered if... Is there something wrong, Barnes? He shit himself. Mr. Holmes, wherever did you find this? This book, it is worthy of a museum. If you could be so good as to translate some of these fragments for me, I would be in your debt. I am particularly interested in these pages here. They are in the poorest condition and therefore appear to be the most used. With pleasure, I will get to work straight away and keep you informed of my progress. All right. To the map, dear Watson. Not there. There. But turn around. Strand. Lad. Get the strand. Three ships still missing at sea. All aboard feared lost. Get the strand. Latest word on the missing ships. Give me the latest edition. There's a good lad. Thank you, mister. How many pages of it this time? A few. Right, ship lost. Emergency meeting with ministers about the crisis along our coast, and it was learned that similar phenomena are occurring around lots of ships lost. <laughs> Did they have to pay to get this dude in here? Fucking pink bath and shit. French police! Uh, burglar. Thief. Eccentric heiress was recently robbed of a fortune in gems. The value was estimated to be several hundred million francs. Oh, I remember francs. Fucking euro. <laughs> I mean, it's handy to have a fucking currency that wherever you go in Europe, it's just the same money. And you can pretty much work shit out quite easily. In fact, yeah, fuck francs. Euro's a well bear. Anyway. Shadowy figures observed scaling the wall, crossing the grounds and entering the residence. Policemen closed their trap neatly with an entire brigade standing by as reinforcements. They charged the manor, throwing the house all into a panic and rushed the heiress's private rooms. She met them in a night dress and perkily announced that the theft of her jewels had just occurred after several minutes rather than uh, rather long ones. She explained that she showed the burglar an ancient secret passage in a room through which he escaped and skillfully avoided the police. The passage led to a nearby train station. The shocked civil servants took their leave without saying a word, rejecting the light meal prepared for them by the lady of the house. No answer would say more than a few croissants for this lady to persuade the uh, assurance company, assurance company, not insurance, the assurance company, to pay her the value of the stolen gems. Watson, consider the news of all these missing ships. I have an idea, but it will be necessary to secure a chart for the Scotland coast and nearby seas. No point in asking Barnes. I have no desire to divert his attention from the translation. True enough, Holmes. But where else would we find such a chart? I have no idea how rough this sound is. Uh, probably... Yeah, just here. It's elementary. It is a sea chart we seek. We must go to the harbour. This is a bar. Why are we at the bar? Hello? Good day, sir. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Would you care for a pint? Or perhaps something finer? Thank you, but at the moment I have need of information and will have to miss another glass of your fine ale. More's the pity. Would you happen to know where I could find charts of the local waters? They are all kept at the harbour master's office, but I am afraid only those with port business are allowed to enter. I trust you understand. Precisely. What I need is a chart of the Scottish area, where all those ships have wrecked recently. Indeed. Such a sad tale. All those poor souls lost at sea. Get on with it, it seems bro. as if the very devil is at work there. Hang on. A chart of the Scotland coastline, you said. It seems to me I have one in my room over there, behind the bar. Here's the key. 
take it and have a look for yourself. Oh, God, if you find it, it's yours for the taking. <clears throat> I need something. Is it the key that you literally just had in your hand and then decided not to use? Fucking idiot. Liquor, 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 sea charts. I have what we need, Watson. Now, let's examine this map. Oh, wow. Um... Let us pause to consider the facts, Watson. No mystery can resist an agile mind. I was really hoping to bring up information, but I guess not. Oh, Let us wait. pause to consider the facts, Watson. I knew I should have written no this shit down. No can resist an agile mind. Five, six, four, three, six, two, six, one, three, four. Right, we're going to use that. I don't know how this works. <laughs> oh my god, what is this shit? Can we zoom out? I don't think we can zoom out. What the fucking god does it want here? What's this? Mull? What is mull? I'm at the bottom. Am I? What the fucking hell is going on? I could really do with zooming out. This is this is just wanton fuckery. Get that fucking bitch opened. This is terrible. Get back up in the fucking corner. What the hell? That's not what this one is. This is this is a different chart, I swear. North Rona, uh oh. Scotland. We need the five. I mean, I should just look at the numbers, shouldn't I? Five, two, six. Except that's not a thing. What absolute bollocks are you fucking trying to tell me here? on that picture the small aisles you see anything about the small aisles I'm all the way at the other side of the pissing map here it's between seven and six it's got nothing to do with five so it's down here somewhere 
the armor sky. Ah, the small isles. Okay. It's here somewhere. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Fucking hell, excuse me. Watson, there we go. Nailed what it. Those mysterious figures meant longitude and latitude. They indicate a point along the Scottish coast called Ardnamurkham. Let's bring back the key to the tavern keeper and see if he knows this place. Oh, fucking hell. I can barely move. Thank you. Thank you for that. Somewhere a fairy has died. Let me out. Oh, it's this door. Barkeep. Did you find everything to your liking? Sure. Indeed, you are as good as your word. I found the charts, just as you said. Does the name Ardna Merkham mean anything to you? Ah, yes. It's a lighthouse along that very coastline. Legend has it, the place was built over a pirate's hideaway. In fact, now that I think on it, that spot is right in the middle of the tempest that is taking down all those ships. Rather odd looking building. They say the chap who built it, Stevenson I believe his name was, that he fancied up the entrance with foreign symbols. Egyptian obelisks and, and even a dog with wings. Strange fixings for a lighthouse, isn't it? Yeah, it's also kind of relevant to all this fuckery. I just want to point me in the right direction. Yeah, obviously. Back to the bookie walks. I. Wait, what? I could have sworn I clicked on that. Clearly didn't. Mr. Cutting. Holmes, I was able to translate the pages that you wanted. Come, I will show you. This book is quite ancient. It tells of a terrifying sect devoted to strange entities. The descriptions are vague, but we can presume the origin of this myth arises from the destructive Leviathan represented in the Bible. A creature said to sleep and dream in a strange city under the sea. In the Bible? A nightmare sleeping within the sea. To be exact, the pages you asked me to translate are in fact a prayer yeah. or invocation to this entity and Mighty the description on. of the ceremony very associated with it. To be frank, what is described in this book would make one laugh were it not for its reliance on such horribly obscene, morbid was up at fucking and bloodthirsty language. And this ceremony, what can you tell me about it? Promise me you will not laugh. The book says that hundreds or thousands of years ago, during a particular alignment of the stars, a priest performed these rites, invoking the name of a destructive leviathan. The priest intoned his name and called for his return to this earth so his followers could give him his due. The priest then asked a representative of each nation on the earth to recite the invocation and sacrifice themselves to the sea from atop a colossal natural rock tower surrounded by water. All this is quite absurd, isn't it? So the lighthouse then. Pray There's always a lighthouse. As you like. It goes on to say that the ceremony must be held under the image of the messenger of the outside gods. Nothing more exact is said on these entities. However, from their description, their messenger would have a form rather close to the Egyptian Sphinx, except that his face is without feature and jet black in colour. So an idol in its likeness must be present during the ceremony. But can you imagine that? Some so-called priest and an international crowd atop a tower singing in unison before some faceless winged stone lion? I can imagine it very well, Barnes. You say that these people are to throw themselves into the sea so that their god will have his due. But what is it about? What does this god seek? That's the most preposterous part of this tale and proves it to be pure myth and fancy. Yeah, get on with it. Even for the sake of argument, this ceremony could never have happened. 
In such ancient times, mm, it would have been quite baby only boy. to gather representatives from every nation on Earth and in one place. I understand, Barnes. Humor me a bit more and please answer my last question. What would this Leviathan want from us? Indeed, we would owe this creature our world. According to this, complete the ceremony and the collective sacrifice, invoke the demon, and he will arise and swallow the earth. <laughs> yes, Holmes, they sought nothing less just than checking the end of the world. Speakers as well. What nonsense. It's just you guys that are lucky to have clear audio. Thank you, Barnes. I must leave now. Goodbye. The newspaper dating before our departure. Watson. Find it. There was some article about the current alignment of the stars. This may tell us precisely that. how much time we have left. But Holmes, surely you can't believe the newspaper, Watson. Find that newspaper. You got Mrs. Hudson and be like, oi, what are you doing? Or do we not have to find the newspaper? Good! There's a lighthouse. Look, Watson! The light is barely lit! This explains the shipwrecks and recent disappearances. Holmes, if we do not find a place to land and soon, I fear they will add our names to those poor souls lost in these seas. I mean, probably over there. Fuck me dead. Oh my God, Holmes, look. The sea! It just swallowed him! Land what for sea? The slaughter. Watson, we must stop this! Well, there's a bit. Mongoloids! Oh, I really want to keep playing. I was I was fit to stop then, but it's just gone nuts. No, go, having it go nuts is a great place to start for next time. Dump ourselves a lovely save. Nice. I can't cope with this audio anymore anyway. Exit the game. Yes, and my face. Okay, I guess I'll uh, finish my beer and uh, kill the stream off. In the meantime, let's listen to another Greaves jam. Anyone that's actually been through tonight. Ah, oh, I see Nittle's back as well. At least lurking. It's essentially just been Nittle and Kirsty this evening. So thank you to the pair of you for, uh, for coming through and hanging. We did have Tessa for a little brief while. But her internet connection was as shit as it always is. So what can you do? Probably not a lot of point in trying to do a raidy boy. There's only us three. I'm not seeing any of my regularly followed channels doing anything anyway, so. No real need. All my suggested ones have just shitloads of viewers. We just, we'd be like a fucking a fly in the water. Is that a saying? Fly in the ointment? That's a saying, right? I don't know. Let's do a quick bit of admin then. Don't let you just
There we go. Got to get that Twitter post up, aren't you? Okay. Song's about to end, so so am I. Uh, one more time, it's been it's been nice playing the game. It's a shame that the audio is fucked for me, though. It, it really does knacker the experience a bit, but at least it's good for you, right? One more time, thanks for coming through. Uh, it's been real. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow when I plan on finishing this motherfucker. Because I think it's quite, quite doable. I imagine, I, I mean, I'm meant to be working till midnight. But we all know damn well that I'll finish at 8pm. So, not a problem. We'll be on by, I reckon we'll be on by 9. And, uh, we'll have, we'll have this fuckery wrapped up by midnight, I reckon. We'll find out. Anyway, until next time, you know the deal. Live, laugh, limp biscuit. Deuces.